Hello and welcome back to my favorite City Skyline series, other than Atlantis, because I like them both equally. They're like children, I can't choose one over the other, except I secretly do have a favorite. And here we have Spain, our last part of the city we've built up, and we've been moving into France recently. I mean, we're not doing too terrible when it comes to expansion. But I did say we would be expanding mostly in Africa this episode because we have a lot of jobs in Africa and we are running low on people to fill those jobs. So I'm actually going to use a higher density road here. And I'm going to create a sort of... If this works properly. I think I can just delete this electrical line honestly. Doesn't really have a purpose anymore. And this is kind of just a higher density road to get between the two new sections of the city, which is kind of just, you've got the north area and the south area now. And this is just kind of going in between. And now we're going to try to intelligently link them together. There we go. And there we go again. We're going to try to just make use of our space. Ah, I don't really like putting that there. That's not the end of the world. I think that's going to be fine. And then we can... We can get kind of creative here, too, because we have a lot of space here. I'm not worried about wasting a little bit of space in the grand scheme of things. I'm more interested with making the city look nice. And if we go ahead and I grab... Over here is going to have to be commercial. Oh, shoot. I forgot to give them water. Yeah, they usually like having some water. Let's go ahead and give them some water. Do, 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 do. How's our water availability and sewage treatment? We need to work on our sewage treatment, actually. That is going to be important in the future. Bam. 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 Looking good. Okay, so next up, what we're going to want to do is... Oh, look how nice it looks. All the new roads, there's a few bridges, but mostly this is just a great new neighborhood area. Um, we're going to go ahead and build up a lot of residential. I'll go ahead and name these districts later. Right now, I'm more worried about just getting people here. Because the more people we have, the more jobs we can work. Uh, we did do a huge area in China, though. So if we go check out how they're doing from last time. Huh. Oh, I think there was just a tsunami. Oh, shoot, there was a tsunami. The coast actually held it off. That's rather interesting. There is now a lake in the middle of Australia. Huh. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Don't hurt my city. Whoa. That is pretty intense. Huh. It didn't really do any damage, but that is... Well, yeah. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, came from the east. It's going all the way across. Oh, no! It's going to push all the sewage! No, don't do that. Oh, it is! It's pushing all the sewage! No, it's a sewage tsunami! Oh, that's so bad! It's going to spread it all over the Atlantic! And it is. Oh, that is a load. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's kind of meme 
right there saying that for this. Oh, the sewage is being dragged across the ocean. That is like the worst thing that could happen. I mean, at least nobody died. But like... Look at it spread. This is actually pretty, pretty bad. Pretty bad for us. It's pushing all of it up north, right towards where we're collecting our water from, too. And it's spreading it out. We are, like, polluting the world to a degree never seen before. Oh, jeez, this is, like, the most dangerous place to, uh, <laughs> sail already. And now there's a tsunami going through it. The bottom of South America. That's pretty brutal. That is pretty bad. Uh, I guess whoever brings the ship... Oh, they're going! They're going there! No, don't do it! You're never gonna make it! This is a horrible idea! Do not use that shipping lane! Turn right! Turn right! Go north! No! You're not going to survive this! This is the most dangerous way you could possibly get... Oh, they survived. Never mind. Look at all the oil and look at all the smog. This... This, right here, is what we call efficiency. We are pumping all of the oil out. That is pretty beautiful. That is that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so Saudi Arabia really is fueling our city when it comes to oil. I don't even... Is there something that shows how much money we make off of natural resources? Or do you even make money off of natural resources in this? Oil! Yes! Look at that! We make so much money off of oil! We make a lot of money off of oil! Wow! Imagine if we could get them to upgrade to like level- th Oh, there aren't level 3 oil plants. I forgot. Oh no, there's actually a little bit of flooding. From that tsunami huh yeah for the most part it didn't do anything to us but that was some da uh, damage oh we have an airport now interesting that'll be useful in the future uh we do need more sewage handling so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we'll go the cheap route we'll do another one of the small ones all of the crud. You can actually see it moving up. That's very sad. I feel bad for people who live over here. There's just this massive spot of pollution. And we can buy more land. That's nice. India. We could populate India. Do we need a bit of flattening? But, well, we won't do it yet because this is actually a really great area over here and I don't want to move before we take advantage of all of this because over here, this is very flat already. We just have to kind of do a tiny bit of touching up. But for the most part, we can really pack a lot into this area. Yeah. Yeah. Asia is really going to help our population. Just because there's so much space. And I have a whole lot of high density area. Mostly focused on residential. There we go. And down here, I'm going to... Okay, one thing people pointed out last time is you cannot actually go to the other part of the city from here. Uh, which is a serious problem. But I'm gonna fix that right now. I do see why that's an issue. But we could just pretend there's a stop that no. Um, yeah, that is an issue. So what I'm gonna do... 
is try to figure this out because I'm actually confused how I'm going to make this work. Um, huh. You know, this is actually pretty challenging because we have this railroad the whole time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm going to raise this even higher. It's going to be my solution. Redo a little bit of work to make sure that this all fits in the end. And now we're going to do this as well. We're going to have a way to get between those two sides. Yes, fantastic, I know. And now look, people are actually leaving to go to work and stuff. Isn't that great? Oh man, they're so excited. They're like, wow, we can actually leave the city. There's so many people waiting to leave. Holy moly. This is a mess. Oh, the traffic. There is so much traffic. Do I have dynamic lane selection on? That's a good question. Let's check traffic manager. Gameplay. Yeah, that's going all the way up. That's on. And that's on. There we go. Now they should be a little bit smarter about the lanes. After a second or two. They should stop trying to use the right lane eventually. But I do have a solution to this, which is manually pulling the lane. Yeah, you are going there. There we go. See? Manually pulling the lane is always the best option. Great. That fixed that issue. Now the traffic isn't such a mess anymore. We're going to need a garbage handling facility up here. Um, we're going to need some jobs over here too. So what we'll do is we'll build a little bit of industrial over here. And we use some really high density roads over here. Um, and I guess I'll copy that over here. We'll go ahead and we will make our major system. Oh wait, that's not where it's supposed to go. No, this one's supposed to be... Oh boy, I'm messing it up. I'm messing it up big time. There we go. And then this is going to reach over here. And this is going to reach over here. And now we can go ahead and grab our two lanes, like this. I can't really see since it's night, so I'm going to take a break from building that for a second. Uh, I will, however, put the trash handling area here, since that's somewhat important. And I will connect them to electricity. Through here. Great. They're going to need water as well. That is very factual. <laughs> and there we go. All done. Fantastic. Look at that. We've got our traffic system working now. I'm actually very happy with how, uh, with how this area is coming out. The uh, road system is very efficient. At the moment. I mean, that could die completely with higher populations. It usually does happen. But right now, it's holding its own. And that's exciting. Now, if we really want, we can move to America. But America is very bumpy. And it'll take a lot of work to flatten it out. So, I think we're going to wait on that. Something we can do, though, to improve our... Uh, well, money. <laughs> to make a lot of money. Because we can delete that. Now we've got like this useless thing of rail over here. But that's fine. I don't care. There's a little bit of rail, uh, railway left over. It can be like a tourist attraction or something. But what we're going to do is we're going to get this kind of low to sea level here. 
We're going to flatten it out. There we go. And we're going to put... Uh, right here, we're going to grab the cargo hub. And that is the big one. That is the one that can make us a whole lot of cash. It is very efficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something coming from here. No, that's a bad idea. What I'll do is I'll just go like this. You go in. And you come out. It's pretty darn simple. And then just some priority... Priority space over here for companies close by. They can just go directly around in the loop. Let's get them connected to power. Let's get them connected to water. Power is going to be from expanding this over and then zoning it up. There we go. See, we're building a lot of industry over here. A whole lot of oil refineries right next to where we ship out our final products. Very strategic. And some of these are actually pumping. Very nice. This is going to increase our earnings by a lot. Like, this is a very efficient way to get our freight onto the market. Probably the most efficient way. For efficiency's sake, uh, first off, we have to upgrade these roads. They cannot handle, oh shoot, they cannot handle the amount of people we're sending. Sadly, it's going to take up some more room, so we won't be able to fit as many refineries with the better roads, but... It's definitely worth the increased throughput of material. There we go. Now this entire side of the country has improved roads. Look at Saudi Arabia. They are really, really growing. Yeah, a lot of improvement. And this is just fantastic for money. How much are we making now? Now we're making 8,000 off of oil. Holy moly. Most of our income still comes from residential, which we're actually going to drop the taxes on and raise it on a high density. Drop it on low density. There we go. Balancing the budget while keeping everyone happy. Okay, that's looking very good. Uh, we are shipping so much oil out of Saudi Arabia. We're making tons of money, but we're not even done yet. Because we still have to hook this up to the rail system. There we go. That's better. Now we have a full loop. Are you gonna work now, Mr. Rails? Come on, please. It would appear it's not. That is sad. Oh well, we tried. The boats are working, so that's something. The boats are working very well. 
Okay, well, we're gonna leave it there because I'm not gonna spend the whole episode on that. But that is actually looking pretty good. Libya is having s some issues with not enough customers. So we need more people. We need to raise that population a bit. That's okay. I'm good at doing that. You just gotta do this. Bam. Bam. Tanzania is getting a whole new neighborhood. And this neighborhood is gonna fit a whole lot of people. Looking good. Get them some water. Population is growing. We're almost at 20,000 people living on the entire earth. Okay, maybe not the most impressive, but we're we're getting up there. Oh, we've got a fire, but they're handling it. Actually, do I have any... Uh, yes, I do over there, but Spain and Libya need some fire. Fire services. There you go, Spain. You're all good now. Spain is just such a nice little area. <laughs> it's so It's so tiny. We could actually make boats go across. The issue is, it's just so raised. It's so ridiculously high up. Just like a massive cliff. That's how a lot of this is, though. How's it going, China? I'm gonna... Not China. Asia. Asia. Not just China. This is China. This is not China. <laughs> Get a, we get into the habit of saying Asia because I'm going to trigger a bunch of people. Okay, so this is going to be mostly industrial over here. So you guys can start building up some businesses. That's fine. You can go do that. Then here we're going to have some high density commercial. And then here, we're going to have high-density residential. Fantastic. It's kind of weird. It's like working on two different maps at the same time. There's over here, and then there's over here. And then Saudi Arabia is its own its own uh, system. It's just all focusing on oil production in Saudi Arabia. Look at all these. All these tiny little areas. That's so funny. Honestly, is there oil under... Hey! Hey, the Middle East! How are you doing? Would you like to give up some of your oil by any chance? Would, would that... Would it make you happy if I were to just begin taking you over yes that's the plan you've got lots of oil my friends we're just going to take it very gently take take the oil don't worry everything's gonna be fine because we're gonna sell it and we're gonna be rich and you, you guys, already living here, you'll get a little bit of the money. But for Vuperia, we need, we need lots of cheap oil supply. And you have it. You have an area easy to get to with lots of oil. And that makes me very happy. We're just gonna... <laughs> there we go. That's good. Oh boy, I know what we're doing next episode. We're gonna expand our oil industry because this clearly isn't enough oil. We need more. We need more. Yes. Oh shoot, I forgot to say the whole like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and hit the notification bell. Bye.